Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the low res jam. The low res jam was a rather longer jam that lasted a couple of weeks, where developers were challenged to make a game that had a resolution of 64 by 64. There were no theme or other requirements. I'll be playing all of the games entered, there were quite a few, about 10 per video for a minute each, so if you'd like to check out the games further, there'll be a link in the description. If you want to check me out, all my info will also be in the description, and at the end I'll probably write an article of my favorites, which you can see over on Game Jolt's Fireside. Thank you very much for watching. Next. We're playing Blake's Run. Alright, press any key to jump. Got it. Alright, so that must be Blake, and he's a running in this weird space station-y place. Awesome, so I get points for jumping over the obstacles in my way. Starting to go a little, oh, don't hit that. He's starting to go a little faster. I almost like, I clicked a key to sort of duck. Ooh, I failed so hard at this. I clicked a key to sort of duck, but there is no duck, so it made me jump. All right, let's try this again. All right, so we got 40. We've got some bonus, that was a huge bonus. Some more points. We couldn't help but hit the wind. Oh, we could have jumped over it. Maybe it's good to hit wind though, it slows you down. Oh, and that's what happens when you're too fast. My jump wasn't timed very well. It's a simple game, very well made. Next. We're playing Meteor Breaker. Space. Arrows to move, hyperspace, consumes fuel, 5 condo, 5x combo to enter max mode. Max mode, your fuel doesn't drop. Alright, so that's like me going fast. Okay, so you have to go fast to like sort of break the comments, but comments. But it looks like we do only have like a very limited amount of fuel that's totally not recharging. Wow, our combo goes so fast. I don't see how I'd be able to do it without using fuel. It's definitely a challenge. And a bit of luck to have the comments exactly where you want them to be. Four, doing good. Ah, oh, no, five. For some reason I thought it was 50, but now it's just five, right? So, ah, we went too fast. not making the most of this combo. That was cool. Next. We're playing my first dungeon. Alright, so. Guess she can drink water. Or look at these. I don't know. This suffering is good for your soul. Keep your victim unhappy for your personal enjoyment. So it's like this is her character. And um I don't know, I don't know what these things do to them. Apparently if I leave them alone and not click anything, um, it'll go to sleep. So dungeon person. And then I can click on stuff to wake them back up so I can sleep deprive them. I can make this a bit more gooey. I don't know. Dungeon person looks so underfed. Hmm. It's a good look into a dungeon though. It looks cool. Next. We're playing The Watched. Alright, set so some sort of candle. F to interact, B E to consume, B to open inventory. Behind three locks, it waits, hoping your sanity it ga grazes, gazes upon. Find the keys, confront your fear. Clues to triumph are ever near. Okay. So we picked up that, whatever it is. Let's take a look. It's just a mystery thing. So are we looking for keys? Click clues to maintain your sanity. That must be a clue. And vanquish the ancient 
evil haunting the town. Alright, we can't really go up there. I don't think every single clue is going to be on the beaten track, you know? So I want to kind of explore around. There's another one. I'm guessing we need to find all of the ones to fill the bottom bar. That's slowly filling up as we add more clues to it. Now we can go this way. Uh, I guess it's locked. Yeah, so I need all the clues first. Oh, there we go. So we have a graveyard. Do I have any memories in here? It's quite dark in here. Oh, there's a key. Alright, so now we can go up to that area that had the key. It was wrong. We don't need memories. We just needed an actual key. Oh, that's that's a really scary looking thing. Uh, maybe that's not the right key. Maybe I need more keys. That was scary looking. Next. We're playing LZRS, which I'm guessing stands for lasers. It said press space, but since it's a web game, uh, kind of had some issues. Lasers, go away. Space doesn't help. I don't want to die, so I guess I just need to be faster. Be fast. Ah. Go this way. Sorry, pass. Oh, that one switches around. Got it. Done. There we go. I have to be careful. Okay, made it. Meltdown. Breach nearby. Here. Watch Aye. out. Ah, oh, so I kind of like died because Aye. I fell to the wrong area. Aye. I'll have to wait. Aye. Ah, that was Aye. quite. I don't Aye. know when to go really. Aye. Okay. Yeah, we kind of need to be down on that one, actually. Darn it. Next! We're playing Potion Guesser. Alright, we're gonna hit play. I've read the controls. Esther the Witch has fallen sick, and now it's up to you to create potions for her customers. Hey, I'd like to have a luck potion. Here's a troll eye. I think you're going to need it. Alright, so now we have to guess what ingredients go in the potion. So we know, like, a troll eye. Oh, we, we know a troll eye goes in. Um, let's do a red one and a green one. No, so one's correct. And that one's probably the troll eye. So let's do, because we know we need that. Let's just add random other ones. This one and this one. Okay, so maybe one's correct in the right spot. I don't know the difference between like the black dot and the white dot. Ah, I shouldn't have put the troll eye there. Okay, so I think that means two in the right spot. Or maybe two correct. So what if I do like troll eye first and then that? And then ones that I know are incorrect. Like that. I'm not good at these types of games. Hmm. Interesting. Next, we're playing Guide Gus. Alright, level one. Oh. How do I place ladder? Right mouse? Oh, there we go. Hopefully Gus will go up to there. Perfect. Good job, Gus. Level two. So we only have so many actions, that's what that number is, I guess, is how many actions we have. We have to be quite fast. There we go. I like how colorful Gus is. Beautiful. 
level, level four. Oh, there's no more. Oh no. Aw, next. We're playing Kill Dat Dragon. This is a work in progress. It's just a test of uh, the dragon, I guess, is randomly, oh, I think I died, is randomly put in there, but the dragon actually doesn't hurt the player. These guys, however, definitely hurt the player. Yeah, no, you gotta fight the dragon. Everything's generated, so it's different each time you play, which is a really nice feature. We have very little health. I'm surprised we're lasting this long. There's the dragon. And right now it doesn't move or hurt the player. I don't think we can kill it either. Nope. We killed all of his little minions, which means that we're a winner. Oh, there's another minion. Awesome. It's a good start. Next. We're playing Terminated Sentence. Alright. There we go. We don't have a game to continue, so up, down, left, and right to move. Hold Z to look. Hold up when you release Z. Oh, this view is really weird. I feel like stuff's being fired at me, but I don't know. Hold up when you release Z. Try hiding, hitting the door. Try again. <clears throat> Someone heard. Alright. Alive in there. Unlock this, his door later on. Keep an eye on him on CCV. Go back to sleep. Okay. Get up, son. It's your lucky day. You'll need that hold to pick up. Hold X to pick up the shiv. Alright. Early release. Why are there dead people here? Hadman block. First aid kit around the corner. Oop. Reminder to all guards that solitary doors are only operated remotely. I just want to grab that, probably, but... Okay, I thought that there was... Okay, hold X to pick up items. Painkillers. Yep. Okay. All these dead people around need it. Locked off days ago. Alright, intercom person. Hold X to select the bandages. Good, now tap X to apply them. Damage reduced, blood loss. Awesome. Thank you, intercom person. I'm gonna keep this in my hand because I probably need it. Remember how you pounded that door? <coughs> Not really, it was kind of weird. It was like X then release or something. I hit like up when I released. It might have been Zed. I'm dying. This is not good. I'm not very good at this game. I love the angled view. It's definitely Zed. I love the angle and the view of everything. Oh, I bled out. Sorry, I sucked. Next. We're playing Cat's Trophy. There is uh, two different cats you can choose from. I'm gonna choose this cat first. Oh, and I died. <laughs> Aww. So basically, ah, do you fall down? Is that what happens? Do you have to stay on the top of stuff? That cat flies. You don't want to get hit in the head by spike blocks because spike blocks are bad. You do want to eat fish and not fall to the bottom. I keep falling to the bottom. You can just hold space to start flying and get at any point. Need more fishes. Aw. Right. Let's go back to the menu. 
just going to choose the other cat which has a different ability. This cat just sort of hovers so you don't have to like keep jumping to keep flying in the air which makes him just a bit easier actually. Quite a bit easier. But I guess he gets lower scores when eating fish. Aw, they still died though. I like how it's all in a Game Boy and everything as well. That's pretty cool. Next.